Hello. Oh, even you can talk. Yes. I am also a living organism. Indeed, I can't move, but I also consist of several living cells like you, which makes me a living organism. So, are you also a multicellular organism like we birds, animals and humans? Or a unicellular like a microorganism? I am a multicellular organism. Do you know about the discovery of cell? Yes, I do. Robert Hooke was the first scientist who, in 1665, observed thin slices of cork and saw honeycomb-like structure. He called it a cell. And all the cells are of different shapes and size. True. And furthermore, a cell has a nucleus, cytoplasm, and many cell organelles. Are there any similarities in both of our cells? Of course there are. Both of our cell has a nucleus which is the most important part of the cell. Then we both have mitochondria which is the powerhouse of the cell as it performs cellular respiration and vacuoles store excess water and waste product of the cell. Yeah, and having a Golgi complex along with an ER is also one of our similarities. Golgi body is involved for the packaging and processing of the material produced in the cell. An ER which is endoplasmic reticulum provides channels to transport material inside the cell. Did you know there are even some difference between our cells? Oh, is it? I only know about my cell. But can you tell me about what's new and different in your cell than mine? My cell has a cell wall unlike yours, thus it can't change its shape. My cell has a chloroplast in it which isn't in your cell. It helps in giving colors to my leaves and also manufactures food. Thank you so much Mr. Tree. I got to know a lot about the origin of cell and knowing about the various cell organelles has made me more inclined towards science. Knowing about different cells was more than amazing and I hope we will meet soon again for another science talk. Thank you. Bye Mr. Tree. It was nice meeting you.